The Save a Battery All-in-One Charger Tester Maintainer is a great unit for testing a variety of things. The first one that's very easy to test is the alternator. Here you can see that the charger was at 12 volts, the battery is at 12 volts. When you start the car, it should go up, as you can see on the display here, to 14.4 to 14.5 volts, telling us that the alternator is actually charging the battery. Um, if you plug the charger in and charge the battery up all the way, as we are here, um, and we can tell when it's completely charged because the status light will come on solid when it's totally charged. But we can use the charger um, as an indicator uh, of the quality of the battery. So by removing the power when it's charged, turning on the load, and also turning on the low voltage alarm, we can see what the voltage of the battery is with a load, telling us how good the battery is. If it's a weak battery though, we can actually deep cycle the battery uh, back to life, giving it uh, a more uh, longevity by simply using the headlights uh, to drain the battery slowly. And what we're doing here is the voltage is going down. We've turned on the headlights. When the voltage gets into the 11 volt range, the low voltage alarm will start sounding, letting you know that it's time to stop the discharge, to turn off the headlights before it goes down any lower than that, because going below the 11 volt range will actually hurt a battery rather than, than make it better. Um, so when we get down into that, that 11 volt range and the beeper starts to beep, all you do at that point in time is you turn off your headlights, you plug the charger back in again, and you repeat the process of charging the battery back again. So you'll do the same thing you did the first time, the lights will come on, and then the status light will start blinking. As you can see here, when that status light comes on uh, solid again, you uh, pull the power, turn the load on, turn the low voltage alarm on, and repeat the process. Doing this two or three times to a sulfated battery will usually bring 10 to 20, even 30% of its life back into the battery, which means that the battery won't have to be replaced. And the other beauty of this whole system is that it's designed so that you don't have to remove the battery in order to do this deep cycling. You can do it while the battery's still in the vehicle. You don't get your hands dirty. Uh, it's a simple process.